Hello, welcome back to part two of Among Us and Scratch. Let's get started. But first, if you haven't seen part one, click the card up there to see it, and then come right back to this one. Okay, so, first thing we want to do is this has lots of bugs, obviously. Like, if you go there, then go up, it will make you get stuck to it and keep going. So, like this. It just conveyor belts you off. So, to fix that, Good costumes, and we're gonna make this a hitbox. So it's not actually the real one. So go ahead and make this the hitbox. Like that. You can make it black or whatever. And then, up here, when the green flag clicked, set ghost effect to 100 so that it's still technically visible to the computer, but not to us. Okay, so now if we check. Okay, good. That's working. So, now. Go ahead and upload a sprite, and the links to these are down in the description, so that you can find these images. And so there's that one. So what you do is you go copy it. And then since I made these scalable vector graphics, it will not disorient them when they are in vector mode. So that's a plus there. So now you can go ahead and copy this size and then go to here and adjust the size as needed so that it fits it like it would in the actual game. Okay, so good. Now, inside of the code for this new sprite, when green flag clicked, forever, go to front layer and then go to sprite 1, and then point in direction, sensing, backdrop number of stage, but then change the stage to sprite 1, and then change the x position to direction. So now, oh, but you also need to set its rotation style to left and right, so that it won't flip upside down. So boom, now we have this. But that background does not look like Among Us. So go ahead and delete this, upload a costume, Link to this one is also down in the description. And if I can find it. And so eventually I will find it and we'll be able to continue out here. So links to all of these are down in the description below. So go ahead and once you get that, you can then you can scale this down some. And then look at that. Looky, looky there. So now if we run this, see? Perfect. But those walls still are an issue. So go ahead and copy this one, then go to the wall sprite, paste it, and then if you zoom in, you can make an oval using the circle tool. And then if you get it just the right size, you adjust it some there. Then boom, then you copy that, and then you paste that at all the tables. And then using the line tool, you'll make the walls using the line tool so that you can't exit the cafeteria. Okie doke. So, once I finish this, now you can zoom out. Then using the line tool, make it a bit thicker, hold down shift. Then just make this, and then just trace the outside here. Okay, good. And now what you can do is you can just delete that original one, and then, but the only issue is that kind of covers up the whole looks, doesn't it? So, go ahead and also, when green flag clicked, set ghost effect to 100. And that will hide it to the human eye, but not to the computers. But there's still an issue. It, our starting position is on top of the table. That is not good. So, the starting position is supposed to be like over here. So if you get over there, then just make this like, 170x and then 0y and then if you run it you'll start here boom so 
thank you guys for watching like subscribe comment for a part two and once again links to all these images are in the description and be sure to subscribe for more tutorials and in the next episode we'll get into more detail thank you for watching and i'll see you next time